Hello to all my friends out there. So this tripod is really bad. I can't see if it's going and my phone cuts out. So now I want to talk to you guys about um, clockwise thinking and counterclockwise thinking. So I wasn't planning on doing any more videos on this because it's not something that anybody is interested in. But what happened is some stuff started popping into my mind and I thought, wow, somebody out there is thinking about this stuff. So most people are forward thinking people, like they think to the future. Very few uh, dwell on the right now and some people dwell on the past, but that's not what I'm talking about. Okay, generally people think in um, a clockwise direction, whether they know it or not, like 12 o'clock, uh, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, like this. Then it's gonna take you to the future. But if you can train yourself to think in a counterclockwise direction, so go from 12 o'clock to nine o'clock to six o'clock to three o'clock, and you're going in the opposite direction, if that makes any sense, it's actually not hard to do once you train yourself to do it. Now, I've been doing it for a long time, and so it comes very easy to me. And when you're trying to solve problems or you're trying to figure out something unknown, this ability to think in a, a counterclockwise direction will really help you. Like imagine a fan or, you know, like a windmill or a turbine. Then imagine if it was going in the opposite direction, then that would, that is like a counter attack. And when I started thinking about this originally was when I was doing stuff on aliens and this just popped up too. First of all, I'm not done with the aliens, even though the aliens caused me to lose all of my followers. Okay, so now, Here is your clockwise direction, which we can think of as positive. And here, see how the little arrow, see how the little arrow is like a negative direction. So if you think of a, a, a number line, here is zero, and you go this direction, positive, or this direction, negative. Now, okay. In theory, these two ways of thinking should take the same should take the same amount of energy and should create electrons because we are carbon and even though we don't pick up much, we do pick up some we do conduct electricity a little bit. Now, if you think about energy as going north or south, then north might take a little more energy to go upwards than downwards. So um, when you're like when you're trying to do this at first, and you might be thinking that is that's stupid and that doesn't make any sense. Well, um, once you start getting kind of good at it, stuff will occur to you. Okay, so now I want to talk to you real quick about the dream I had. And here is the dream, and I dreamed of two mountains. And they had snow on them, and there was a big explosion of fire at the top. And then water started to run down. It only had two, it only had, these were like sleuths, or like, uh, like uh, imagine a big irrigation ditch running downwards. So when the snow melted and ran downwards, southwards, this would be northward, this took almost no energy. So here we have like a compass. We have north, we have south, and then we have the oceans, right? So we have the positive direction thinking, we have the negative direction thinking. Now from zero to go north would take energy, to go south would take no energy. That is why a lot of times you will notice that your, your aerials will flood from north 
to south. That's just the way it goes, which, which seems crazy, but that's okay because once you start doing this um, all the time, imagine you're riding a bike and you're going forward, but if you ride a bike and you're going backwards, you'll get back to where you started or even further. So now imagine in thinking, for some reason, we think in a clockwise direction, so we're going towards the future, but if we think about things in a counterclockwise direction, we're gonna go to the past. And then we're gonna come to some interesting conclusions. That's why we're going to do it. Okay, so now I want to talk to you about, in the Bible, they talk about uh, time and half time. So when I was, you know, always, you know, trying to figure out stuff, taking science and all this stuff. How would we go from whole time to half time? Well, what I thought about was... I thought, well, if we if we were to speed up time twice as fast and actually lose time, there would be uh, less time. But I don't think uh, I don't think that is actually uh, correct because um, I was thinking about this counter uh, clockwise um, thinking. So let's pretend we had an hour and we were going forward in a, a clockwise thinking. If we can go backwards, say half an hour, we have gone to half time. I believe people are going to be able to learn how to do this. Okay, so this was one of my most brilliant ideas, actually, the half time idea. Okay, we're advancing into the future, and we don't know what the future holds. Chances are some people are not going to survive for one reason or another, and we're going to go into that. But if we could train ourselves to think in a counterclockwise direction to take ourselves just a little bit out of the present backwards and out of the unknown future, we could be safer, especially if we were safe in a safe uh, direction. We wouldn't be running into um, unsafe territory with unsafe, untrustworthy individuals. Okay, so now when I was an EMT, concept number one, survey the scene. Don't rush in to save someone and get yourself killed because then two people are killed. So if we can like step back and we can, what we're really doing in a way is slowing our thinking and also not letting other people influence what we think or do because that could be dangerous to us maybe advantageous to them okay so now let's say if we were going to advance into the future but at the same time we could train ourselves to think in a counterclockwise direction at all times, as well as a a um, um, a clockwise direction. You can't think two things at once, but you can think very quickly. Okay, so now we come to like a merchandise place, and we see someone blocking the door. We've already discussed that may not be safe to enter. Or we see people blocking the aisles. Or we see people clustering. Okay, we do a little bit of counterclockwise thinking and we think back to how we already decided that these situations were not safe. We don't have to discover this already again because we already know. And we say to ourselves, do I believe there are people out there who are looking to senselessly cause harm? Yes, I do. Okay, now, one thing I think is smart, you're surveying the scene, you're looking for patterns that you've already learned, 
We're watching for people who look harmless but give out an aggressive vibe. I saw one today and the most lovable puppy started barking uh, viciously. <coughs> and on close examination, she really didn't look that harmless. She looked ag aggressive. I believe people that are not aggressive are moving amongst us, especially in Southern California. So um, one of the things that is not harmless is unfriendly, no manners, and no common courtesy. We're watching for that, and we do our counterclockwise thinking, and we go, I already decided that that person is dangerous. All right, aggressive looking people that give off an aggressive vibe and possibly agitators. Okay, you cannot let an agitator engage you. You have to evacuate and walk off. Number three that we're looking for, things that make little or no sense, odd things or strange things. And I told you about one in the store I went into, the, the check stand was open and there was no clerk. And she said, okay, I'm open here, like for the next person in line. And three clusters of people ran up, similar people, with big orders out of nowhere. And the first time it happened, I said, wow, that's odd. Well, the second and third time I, it happened, I said, you know what, that is odd. And I already went and I said, oh yeah, I already decided that's odd. I don't want to be here. Okay, things that make little or no sense, odd things, strange things. Okay, strange things. Unnecessary risks. Why take them? We already decided. We go back, you know, we go back to January. Some people have not survived. And so by, by doing this counterclockwise thinking, it helps us when we go into the future, why we, we want to wear a mask, we want to social distance, we want to avoid clusters and mobs because some of them could be up to no good, looking to harm us for no good reason. Back to senseless, odd, things just avoid that if it seems a little bit strange go oh yeah no more strange uh, okay unnecessary risks anything that resembles hazing is out we have that in uh, southern california it's like you know all of a sudden you'll find yourself in the middle of a cluster and and you'll think to yourself what the hell just happened here okay unsafe areas well what would constitute an unsafe area well we're gonna go let's see protests crowds clusters parties bars unsafe salons and we're just gonna go on and on and if it's unsafe we're not going there also angry crowds or anything that is like trying to put us is trying to push us into us into a direction of a civil war that might not be in our best interest if we get shot in the head with a beanie bullet okay six security or police that provide no protection I see that all the time where I walk. They are useless. What they are doing, I cannot tell you. So, uh, and also uh, the police here in, in La Mesa have shown themselves to be totally inept at providing protection for the businesses. If they're just gonna let the stuff burn, if they're just gonna let the, t the looters tear places up, we want to think about the past and say, why should I get myself killed? That's not smart. Because it doesn't exist. It's all in your, your imagination. No, those were mobs. <laughs> it was not good. Also now groups of undesirable people that throw off or odd or strange people that throw off 
an aggressive vibe. So you want to go with the, the gut. Like, okay, on two occasions, I saw um, two slow women, adults, but on each side of them were like aggressive looking men. And I thought the first time, well, you know, what just happened here? It was the gal with the six inch social distancing. The other one told me she had been vaccinated. And then there was like these men and it's like, I dare you to say anything. These are undesirable, undesirable people could be anything that when we survey the same, we go back and we go, wait a minute, that is not good. <laughs> okay, now, some people are not going to survive disasters. We have to make sure that is not us. Out here, everything, it, it's still burning here in uh, California. I don't know how long this is going to go on. And at any time, I think I see evidence of, of uh, the protesters coming into the area. Nine, people could starve, no jobs and no food. Could that happen? Yeah, that could happen if things get bad enough. So the only thing we can do is try to find a little extra food so that we're not the ones with no food. What happens if the food banks run out? What happens if these mobs tear up all the grocery stores and we can't get in to get the food? Okay, illnesses. How about like a such a surge in the corona that uh, there was not enough medical or like a surge in just illnesses of any kind. Well, and if there's an illness in your house, that is not good. So we want to prevent that. And then 11 is war. Those are not healthy. So now, most people have an expectation that people will advance in a positive direction and forward direction thinking. But if you can step back like half a day, that's going to give you half time. Another thing, if someone tries to attack you and you're present, but you're able to step back, they have to attack you back halfway and they have to also it's not exactly the same thing as retreat, but it is kind of. I think it's advanced thinking, and I think we should all learn how to do it like yesterday. So what we're going to be doing is we're always going to be thinking. It's not even really, um, it's directional thinking. Instead of going forward, we're going back. Instead of going clockwise, we're going counterclockwise and we're very careful surveying the scene and not trusting. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.